What is up, Beauty Tribe? It's your girl, Najee here, and I am back with another video, and this video is going to be a tribe tea. It's basically when you guys send me in your stories, um, if you need advice, all that jazz, and I give you some advice. You know the tribe helps you guys out, and yeah, that's just what we're going to be doing today, but before I get into this video, I do want to give you guys the details on my hair. A lot of you guys have been asking throughout the week um, where did I get my hair. I got it from Bly Hair off of Amazon. You guys know I love my Amazon wigs because they are so easy to work with. Like the companies on Amazon are so easy to work with. They'll always make sure you're good. If something goes wrong, it's an easy return. It's easy to track. So I love Amazon hair companies. And I decided to work with one and they go by Bly. They have a whole bunch of human hair wigs. This is a human hair wig and it's like big and kinky and curly. So when I first got this wig, child, I thought I was gonna be able to do a wet look. But I did not realize how big and kinky and curly that the hair was gonna get. So, you know, I'm over here trying to do the wet look and it's like, okay, this isn't gonna work out. So I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut some bangs into this wig and make it like a big, cute, curly, with bang type of, you know, type of look, giving you very Diana Ross, you know, Tracy Ellis Ross, you get what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, you guys can go and see how that turned out. Is it, is it bang season? It might be. I don't have the best track record with bangs. I look like Rick James. Definitely look like Rick James, hold on. And it's like whenever I do bangs on this channel, it's like you all want me to look like Rick James. Like you guys always are just like, oh, you can cut your your bangs to um, short. And I'm like, bitch, do I look, like why do y'all want me to look like Rick James? Mm. I'm Rick James, bitch. I feel like a WWE wrestler girl. Did not turn out well, but like this hair pattern is just so cute and I wanted to wear this hair texture for my birthday and I was like, this has to work somehow. So I figured it out and I basically did a half up, half down. So this is my real hair right here and I intertwined it with some of the wig so I turned it into a half wig because I had cut the bangs so if I wanted to I was thinking of doing like um like doing braid at the front and then tie it with rubber bands and show it but you guys know when it's your birthday you, you want to turn up and you want to keep your wig secure so I just went ahead and made two ponytails of my own hair and combined it with some of the wig and then wrapped it around so that this hair blends in with my actual hair because this really isn't my natural curl pattern but I wanted it to look natural so I just wrapped it around and yeah everything is pretty smooth and looks really pretty I've been getting a lot of compliments on this hair like offline I love this hair so much and I'm so glad that I was able to make this work because it is so pretty and like even when it's wet it's pretty also but it just does not lay flat because it's just so voluptuous and has so much density here I'll even show you guys in the back like like it's so luscious and big you can't see any tracks or nothing like it's really really nice it did not come with a smell um like literally all I really had to do was just put some conditioner on it and the curl stayed popping all day like I didn't have to use gel nothing like it's really really nice hair and it's pretty affordable and it's on Amazon so you cannot beat that I know you guys know I'm an Amazon advocate like for sure so if a company is selling their stuff on Amazon I already feel safer you know interacting with them and this is actually a really really decent really decent wig so if you guys want this wig all the information will be in the description below um all the links social medias all that stuff so you guys should really check them out because they really helped me out on my birthday because I did not know what I was going to do with my hair on my birthday and they came through and it was actually a very very good wig so check them out Okay, so we're getting into the tribe tees, and honestly, guys, we're about to be reading these tribe tees off of the MacBook today because my phone has been doing this thing where, like, it will um, reset. Like, every time I read a tribe tee, it resets, and I have to find my place, and it just takes up a lot of time. And you guys know I really want to get to everybody's story because what we're in June it's June now sis like come on now we need to get caught up oh and you know it's still my birthday week my birthday has not happened when you're watching this video when you're watching this video I probably have like a day or two until my birthday which is wild so your girl's on turn up mode so if you got your Capri Suns your drink your blunt whatever you do to relax you can go ahead and bring that out because I got mine child mm. 
and I'm just gonna go all the way to the bottom and I think we're at now guys remember like the pre-recorded ones I do the pre-recorded before the lives so if you hear me say we're at a certain date it's past tense like we're most likely at a um later date at this point you know okay are we still in April Jesus I need to do three segments of these a week because we need to get caught up, girl. A lot of y'all are like, read this on live, read this on live, all right? Okay, this one is called Drugs Are Not A Game. No, they are not. Let's go. Hey girl, I hope you're doing well and this is some crazy shit. So I will not be using my real names. I will not be using any real names, including mine. So for this story, you can call me T. And by the way, this story has a lot of character. All right, girl. So let's start off the very beginning. Me and three of my friends, let's call them Jane, December, and March. So one day me and all of them were walking around school during break and we saw this girl that we know, let's call her January. And she was hanging out with some kids that are known for selling and using drugs on school campus. They are bold, 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 bold. Like you will go to jail. I don't know about y'all high school, but my high school would be like, fuck detention, you're going to jail. Like Since she never really hung out with her, we really just didn't care. Until I saw her snorting some white powder and you already know what that was. No, you don't. That could have been multiple things, but none of it is good. I was still shocked because to me, she seemed like a good kid. But at that time, I didn't know that she was going through shit this year before. I didn't know she got caught doing shit like this that same year. I went home and I told my mom what I saw because me and my mom are super close. But my mom just started laughing and said how stupid it was because my school has cameras and she might have got caught on one. But the next day when I went back to school, I saw her giving drugs to other students. Oh, uh-uh, she trying to be the plug. Mm -mm. But this time I was not that surprised until she walked up to me trying to give me some to me and my friends. My friend Jane said yes, but I gave her that look and she changed her mind. Then she pulls out a bottle of alcohol and that was my breaking point because we could have got caught because there was staff all around because that area is known for doing shit like this. Me and all my friends walked away and my friends asked and my friend Jane asked if we should report her, but then again, she said yes at first and then can get them both in trouble. So what should we do? Should we report her for this shit or should we let her get in trouble on her own? Let her get in trouble on her own. Disassociate yourself from her. You need to just let her do her because you guys, it seems like you guys got your head on straight. You're trying to, you know, just go to school and have fun and be normal kids. Like, and she on some other shit and i just would not be associated with her like it is what it is like i don't know it's just me personally i would have just been like look you trying to do some shit that i'm not about i'm not trying to go to jail for you i like you but you're changing and it's okay people change when they go through adolescence it happens but don't jeopardize your freedom and your friends as well but i also wouldn't go forth and start snitching but then it's like if you're gonna snitch to somebody i would just talk to her parents as a friend, I wouldn't go to the school counselors, I wouldn't go to the police. I would just talk to her parents and let her parents know like, hey, you know, she's on some shit. We don't want her to get in trouble, but we want her to have like an intervention type thing. Like we want her to get some help. We don't want her to get in trouble. So that's what I would do. I would talk to the girl's parents. What do you guys think that they should do in that situation? This one is called $10 for gas ain't shit. I feel like that all depends on your car and where you're going. And cause if somebody gives me $10 in gas money to take them up the street, girl. Hey Naja, I want to start off by saying that your videos are literal crack. <laughs> Bless. Thank you so much Queen for delivering. Well, you are welcome. So I'm 17 years old, almost 18, a senior in high school, and I'm a Gemini. Well, happy Gemini season, happy belated or um, early birthday to you. For this story, I'll be called Val and my friend will be called Zora. This all starts when this bitch car broke down one night as we're about to go to my house. So I'm driving in my own car and I see she still hasn't left the school parking lot. So I call her and ask what's going on. She told me her car won't start. I pull a U-turn and take my ass back into the parking lot. Our other friend Michelle is in the car with her and I'm trying to tell her to press the gas and try to turn it on. I'm Googling how to jump start a car and still nothing. Girl, like in my driver's ed class in high school, that was a requirement to get your freaking past driving school. Like I took driver's ed my sophomore year when I was 15 and I there was a specific car in the lot that had to be jumped. And it was like you pulled popsicle sticks on who was going to be driving the truck and the truck had to be jumped every time. Like you had to know how to jump a car. Her car is literally almost on the main street. So if a car even drives too close to the curb, they'll fuck around and hit it. So eventually I get the idea of asking a teacher if they've got jump cables to see if we can at least try that. I ask the teacher and she lets me borrow the jumping cable set and the type that you don't have to hook up to another car. 
Oh, so basically she has the one that I have where it's just like a battery and then you just plug it up. Another student asks us if we want help. So we get outside and her car still doesn't turn on. Eventually me and the other guy push her car back into the parking lot. Okay, so here is where shit starts to get funny looking back at it now. She doesn't live with her parents. She lives with her aunt and her aunt's toxic ass, cheating ass, broke ass, unemployed ass husband. Okay. <laughs> She's calling them and they said they'd be there later. Basically not giving a fuck about her. Mind you, they sold her this piece of shit car with mad mileage, rusty, no seatbelt, bumper dragon ass car for a thousand dollars. Well shit, look, like you gotta do what you gotta do, especially when it's your first car. Like you can't be picky about what it looks like and especially if you're only paying a stack, like that's a lick. So in conclusion, she got scammed by family members. I don't feel like they scammed her. I just feel like that's just what they could afford. Like, why didn't she work and save up and get her own whip? Like, you really can't be picky. And you really can't be judging her people like that, damn. Eventually, I call my boyfriend and ask him if he can try to jump her car with his car because I thought it was maybe the kit that wasn't working. It probably was. The kit probably need to be charged. So my boyfriend comes and the car still doesn't turn on. Eventually, her aunt and uncle get there hours later and the car doesn't turn on and it sits in the parking lot for two days. Damn, your, your school is a real one because... That car would've got towed at my school, girl. During the time she doesn't have a car, she's arguing with her family members over petty shit like her changing the Netflix password. So I offer to take her to and from school on a daily. This bitch only ever gave me $10. So here's the real tea. So are you saying she only gave you $10 like total or what? And then didn't you say I offered to take her to, to and from school daily? You offered to do that. Like, it would've been nice if she would've gave you gas money, but you kinda offered to do a favor for her, so I don't know. I had offered previously to take her senior pictures for free, being a good friend and all. You're using the word offered a lot. You be doing a lot of favors, child. So on a Saturday, I pick her up, feed her, do her makeup, and take her senior pictures, not expecting shit in return. On Sunday, she texted me and said she didn't need me to pick her up because she was gonna go to school and I didn't question it. Only to go on Facebook and find this bitch posting senior pictures. This bitch had her uncle take her senior pictures for her on Monday. See, my problem wasn't that he took them. My problem was that I went way out of my way for her, for her to just have her pictures taken by a man who literally almost kicked her out, got mad at her for overchanging the Netflix password that she pays for, and degrades her in any way possible. Yeah, I really do feel like she probably should have just told you, like, I'm not really feeling these pictures and just was honest with you. You get what I'm saying? Because you were going to see the pictures anyway on Facebook. The next day I go to class, say hey, and don't talk to her at all. I don't even pick the bitch up because those $10 wasn't doing shit for me and I was fed the fuck up. So the next day she texts me a whole book about how she's sorry and that she didn't want to make it seem like she was taking advantage of me and that she saw it more as a finesse for her because he was taking pictures at the lake for her. I told her the truth, told her I didn't talk to her because she didn't want to hear me at 7.30 a.m. talk my shit, nor did I want to let my emotions get the best of me. I told her that she was stupid and how could she talk so much shit and take favors from people she talked shit about. She continued to te text paragraphs on paragraphs and I just responded, I feel you. Now we're okay. She walks her ass to school, still jobless and careless. How is she paying for the Netflix account? If she don't got no job. The moral of the story is don't try to be nice to someone who doesn't give a fuck about your efforts. We converse because senior year is almost over and honestly I don't give enough fucks to argue over things and hold grudges in the long run I'm doing well. I'm gonna go to a good university. I'll still have a car and job. I'm going on a trip this summer. I'm number three in my class. Now do you think I'm wrong to feel the way I feel and I feel like I was taken advantage of? Thank you for reading my story. Okay just the fact that you say that you're a Gemini I already girl and all my young gemini's out there some of my old ones may need to hear this shit too nobody owes you shit we have a really bad savior complex nobody owes you shit you offered to do a lot of things for her that she did not ask you to do she ain't owe you shit and i know that sounds harsh but it just is what it is nobody owes you anything in this life they really don't and I get you because I'm the same way. It's just like, bruh, fuck that shit. It don't matter. I ain't holding no grudge. Like, it, it's stupid. But it's just like, yo. When you say, don't be nice to someone who doesn't give a fuck about your efforts. Like. What is that term that my mom be saying all the time? You get more bees with honey or whatever. However the fuck that shit goes. Like, you don't have to let one instance ruin your whole personality. Keep being nice to people. Keep being nice to people. Just don't go out of your way and expect something in return every time. She didn't ask you to 
drive her anywhere she didn't ask you to give her no food she didn't ask you to do the senior pictures like you offered to do that and like if it's not being reciprocated you can't really be mad because that was something you offered to do it's not like she asked you to do something and then you did it and then she's blowing you off like it's more so like oh let me do this let me do this let me do this but wait why aren't you doing that for me like she don't owe you shit and it, it sucks but that's just life like that's reality i'm sorry but um I don't think your feelings are invalid. I don't think you should feel wrong for feel, for feeling taken advantage of. I don't want to invalidate your feelings. How you feel is how you feel. And if that incident hurt you so much that you just don't want to talk to her anymore, it's kind of holding a grudge, in my opinion. Um, but no, you know, I take that back because I don't talk to some people just to, for peace of mind. So I get it. But I mean, your feelings are your feelings and they're completely valid. If you don't want to fuck with her, you don't want to fuck with her. And that's, that's that, like, but I just want you what I want you to take from this is that nobody owes you shit like I'm, I'm the type of person where it's like if I'm giving somebody money like if I give them five dollars I don't expect that five dollars back because they didn't be like oh I need five dollars for this I'll pay you back like right no I just wanted to give you five dollars because I know you're hurting like I'm not gonna be like oh I gave him five dollars and he's still not oh but like it's just too much like you're either gonna do something to be nice or just don't do it at all you get what I'm saying because people are people are weird people aren't not everybody is like you that's all I'm gonna say. Not everybody is like you and not everybody's gonna reciprocate that same energy that you give in this world. So you can't expect it when you're over here just handing shit out to people. You get what I'm saying? What do you guys think? I don't know, that's just my Gemini perspective. She told me she's a gem. So I, I know, cause I used to be the same way when I was her age, just giving shit, giving shit, giving shit. And then being like, uh, why am I so nice? And everybody else isn't reciprocating, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know, but you guys tell me what you guys think. All right, so this is the next one, and this is going to be the last one, and it's called Naja, Am I Putting Too Much Pressure on My Lazy Ass Girlfriend? Hey, Naja Boo. I've been a subscriber of yours for over a little over six months. I spend a lot of time on your channel catching up on all of the story times and the tea. Keep it up, sis. Thanks, boo. So on with the story. My girlfriend and I have been knowing each other for about eight years. Damn. Damn, okay. And we have been together for about seven months. Oh, okay, so you you just been cool for eight years, okay. We are both 21 and attending different colleges out of state. While in school, she works at a call center, which is a fucking mess, by the way. Yeah, girl, trust me, I know, I've been there. And I work at a showroom. FYI, we both live with roommates and take care of ourselves. This is something to keep in mind throughout the story. Starting last year, I decided to begin setting goals and achieve throughout the year that helps me stay motivated. This year, I decided to include my girlfriend. So I had her set a few goals for herself as well. Here's the problem. I think she is very lazy, which bothers me. She underestimates herself often. One of her goals this year was to find something she enjoys that will benefit her, that will be beneficial to her future. Whether it's making extra money or providing experience towards her career, her career goal is to become a fashion designer. She has many drawings of garments she would love to produce, but she doesn't have the money to start. I tried to explain to her that she needs to begin building an image for her brand prior to even producing the clothes. By the way, we are both fashion students. I know because I'm not going to say what school you go to, but fun fact, when I was 17 and I was going to college, I actually flew up to your school and I did a tour and your school is intense. Your school is very intense. Like even the curriculum, the students that go there, intense but i went to y'all dorms y'all dorms ain't cute i'm so sorry but y'all dorms are not cute so i totally understand why you got a roommate sis because those dorms were not cute at all like very very 70s looking but i feel like that's now that i know where you go to school i am like envisioning how i could see how you think that she's lazy because they drill like in order to go to the school you're going to they drill that shit like you don't have a choice like you cannot be lazy to go there like you just can't like that shit is like fashion harvard bitch like you can't you can't be lazy like and i'm not gonna lie as if that shit didn't intimidate me like your school is intense so that's something i'm gonna keep in mind when you calling your girl lazy because your school is very intense we're both fashion students but i'm changing my major to interior design yeah girl because that shit is intense those people there being boy i was scared i was like mm, i don't know if i'm about i don't know if i could be here like but i don't think that she's lazy because the fact that you're working at a call center and you're going to school for fashion like I don't think she's lazy at all. I just think that she doesn't know where to start to get motivated, but I'm gonna let you finish. Her current job rarely gives her hours. Each employee has to call in prior to their shift to see if they're needed for that day. Oh, that's really weird for a call center. So she typically has a lot of free time that she spends doing nothing. Also, the majority of her classes are online, which gives her even more free time. She spends her free time sleeping, watching YouTube videos, listening to music, or playing games. 
I try to motivate her to find activities that will make her a bit of money so that she doesn't have to sell her belongings. I want to help her out financially, but I'm struggling myself. I make a good amount of money, but I also have to take care of myself. She does help when it comes to me achieving my goals set for the year, and I'm thankful for that, but she does not put forth much effort when it comes to completing her goals. My girlfriend tends to be very nonchalant, and she prefers living in the moment instead of working towards her future. She doesn't have as much as she should, but I don't as well. That is something we both need to work on. But I make sure my main priorities are taken care of and I look for ways to grow and build financially. She isn't as motivating when it comes to that. Whenever I bring up the topic of her finding a new job that actually guarantees her hours or finding a hobby that will bring in some coins, her mood changes instantly and she makes it seem as if I'm annoying her. She said she will hold off on finding a new job until after our planned vacation, so we will see. By the way, we're going on vacation because one of my goals for this year is to visit another country, so I paid for this trip. She also mentioned that she will get back into DJing, but she needs her equipment. She hasn't made an effort to get the equipment from her friend's house, from her mother's house, which is less than an hour away from her apartment. I just want to motivate and influence her. I don't want to build a future with someone who is lazy and isn't trying to work towards something bigger and better than a typical 9 to 5 that pays nothing. I'm not sure what should be my next move. I don't know if this matters, but she's a Gemini and I'm a Sag. Tribe and Nadja, let me know what the fuck to do next because I don't plan on taking care of anyone besides my kids. Love you so much. Hope all is well. And then she sent me an update attached to this email and was like, I forgot to add in the fact that I even offered to update her resume and help her look for jobs in order to secure a job that better guarantees hours. I feel like you've known her for eight years. This should not be surprising to you that she has like these fickle moods. Like it should not, you've known her for eight years. It should not be shocking to you. That's why I'm just like, girl, you know what you signed up for, but now it's like you're kind of on the extra type shit because she's your girlfriend now. It's like, you already knew what you signed up for. I really don't feel like you guys should have made that step to be a couple. I feel like you guys should have just stayed friends because you're not that old. Like, you're not you're not to the point where y'all need to be on. So don't get me wrong. It's really dope to set goals as a couple. It really is. But at the end of the day, I kind of feel like you're treating her like an accessory or like it's kind of like, you want her to be up here so then when people ask you about your girlfriend you could be like oh she's up here with me but even you admitted yourself that you're not where you want to be like you guys when you're in college that is the place where your life is going to be in shambles like and it's not you guys are trying to have like that instagram social media relationship where you travel and you know we're both in school we both got our own spot like which is cool but the reality of the matter is when you're in college your life is in shambles sis like you're not gonna have that much money you're going to appreciate that free time that you do have like girl because if i was in college and all i did was online and my job only called me every once in a while like i would i would very and i can afford to live where y'all live which is not cheap and I can afford to live and well you said she's out of state so I don't know but if I can afford to live have a roommate live on my own go to school and I'm straight like I'm good for right now now it's different when both y'all graduate and she's not trying to level up I feel like you're trying to pressure her a little bit too soon I don't think she's lazy because if she was lazy she wouldn't be in college she wouldn't have no job she would just live at her mom's you said she an hour away I don't think she's lazy I think you're kind of pushing her a little bit too hard like I feel like you guys just need to be college kids, finish school, your school ain't easy child, you need to focus on school, and just see how things are after you graduate, if you want to thug it out that long. I personally feel like you guys should have just stayed friends, like it seems to me like you're like her motivating friend, but now it's come, now it's a little bit more overbearing, she's probably getting annoyed, because me, I'm a Gemini too, and I used to have a friend like that, and I would just be like, bro, you're not my mom, like you're not my mom, like I already have a mom, and like I don't need you to be nagging me about that shit too, like no, I don't know, what do you guys think, that's my advice for that, it's just like, look, y'all are gonna be in shambles, you're in college, just be grateful that you can afford to live on your own, you're in school, and you got a job, at least she has a job, like, chill in my little yachty voice bruh chill just both y'all just need to enjoy each other right now like seriously best thing give them some advice in the comments below all right guys so that's pretty much it for today's tribe tea um again if you guys want your stories on my channel please email me in the email in the description below under the tribe tea section and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye